Welcome to Bible Logos. I'm David Deleuze, and I'm your broadcast host. Today, I'm excited to bring you part four of the message, Who You Think You Talking To? Please do me a favor, like and share this message on social media with your friends and family. All right, let's get to the word. Here's part four of Who You Think You Talking To? So it was the timing. So if in their eyes, he, his agenda was to let them know about the fact that they could have a personal relationship with God as father. And it was later toward the end of his earthly ministry that he revealed his deity. And when he did, they killed him for it. Aren't you glad he's revealed his deity to us? Aren't you glad that you know him? Not only as the lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the earth world, but also as your own God, your personal God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you know him that way? Number three, perspective. Everybody say perspective. Now, this is the one that I'm calling a, a, a contemporary issue. Uh, pers the perspective. What do you mean, Pastor, by perspective? Many today, and when I say contemporary, I'm talking about us today. Many of us today see Christ and the Holy Spirit as agents of God. Many Christians, many believers, they see Christ, they see the Holy Spirit as agents of God, but not as God. Thank you for your son who you sent to die for me. That's an agent. Send your Holy Spirit to open up the doors for me. That's an agent. So many believers today don't see the second person of the Godhead as, as much God as the first person of the Godhead. They see him as something less. Many Christians today don't see the Holy Spirit as equal deity with the Father and the Son. They see him as something less, which, which I'm describing as an agent of God. But the Bible says they're co-equal. The Bible says that Jesus himself thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Yes, that's what he said. You familiar with that scripture? Yes. But he humbled himself yes, he did. in order to accomplish the plan uh -huh. of God. Right. Sometimes we got to humble ourselves in order to accomplish the plan of God. Come on and put your hands together. Let's give God praise. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Sometimes we're in the way of God's own agenda. Sometimes we're right there blocking it, wondering why it ain't coming to pass, because you in the way. Get on out the way and let God do his thing. Come on and put your hands together. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. So if I see the second person of the Godhead as your son, I've reduced him. If I see the third, third person of the Godhead as your spirit, I've reduced him. I don't see how that's reducing him, Pastor. Do you ever talk to Jesus and say, your father? No. 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 Why? Because you put God, the father, in one position. Right. Yes. So what am I teaching today? I'm teaching us today to recognize the Trinity co-equal in power, and not just talk to one member of the Godhead, but talk to all of them. Talk to the Father yeah. time. Talk to the Son. Yeah. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Don't act like the, the Son is less than the Father. Don't act like the Spirit of God is less than the Son. Recognize that all of them are co-equally God. Come on and put your hands together and give God praise. So now let me talk about in these last few minutes that I have, why we should not direct our prayers only to the Father. Number one, since Christ is the one with the authority to do it, since Christ is the one who has the authority to do it, why not ever talk to him or ask him to do it? Since he's the one who has the authority to do it, why don't I ever talk to him and ask him to do it? Let me look at John, the 14th chapter, verses 12 through 14. Verse 12 says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, 
and greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. Look at verse 13. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. You see it? Whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. Why? So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. He said, whatever you ask in my name, I'm going to do it because all of our agenda is to bring glory to the Father. Remember, the, the, the Son always pointed to the Father. The Spirit always pointed to the Son. The, God, the Father pointed to the Son and the Spirit. They always pointing to each other and bragging on each other. So Jesus is saying, I'm not here to, to, to point to myself. I'm here to point to the Father. When the Holy Spirit comes, we're getting ready to look at this scripture. He's not here to point to himself. He's, here, he's coming to point to me. But all of us are God. So he says here, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Look at verse 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Tell somebody to ask him. Tell somebody else, just ask him. Come on and put your hands together. Give God praise. Number two, why should... We not direct prayers only to the Father. Number two is because of this. Since the Holy Spirit is our helper, our teacher, our guide, among so many other things, why not ever talk to him or ask him for power, for wisdom, or for direction? Let's look at John, the 14th chapter, verse 26. Verse 26 says, But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you. Who will teach you? If I need something revealed to me, if I need direction, if I need wisdom, that's the Holy Spirit doing that. That's the Holy Spirit doing that. So why would I, Father, send your Holy Spirit to teach me with the Holy Spirit standing right there? Why not say, Holy Spirit, teach me? You said you teach me. You said you reveal it to me. You said you show me. Holy Spirit, show me. Welcome back. You do not want to miss the conclusion tomorrow of the message, Who You Think You Talking To? Please don't forget to like and share this on social media with your friends and family. I'm David Deleuze, and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word. And therefore, it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.